Hello people, in this uh, video let us look at this uh, textbook, textbook for ENT, ear, nose, throat and head and neck surgery by P.L. Dhingra, Shruti Dhingra. This is a good book for uh, undergraduation, right? This book is enough guys for your uh, clinicals, history taking, practicals, everything. There's absolutely no need to go for any other uh, book, okay? Let's look into this. What do you think will be there in this book? <clears throat> ear, about the ear, right? Then nose. Then oral cavity. Then uh, pharynx. Then larynx. Trachea. Then, uh, what is this? Thyroid gland. Esophagus. Then recent advances. What is this? Clinical methods in ENT. This is what you wanted, right? Clinical methods in ENT. Let's look at this. Operative surgery. Then, what is there here? That's it. So basically, now let's get started with the ear. In ear, what and all they have? Anatomy of ear. Okay. So they're talking about the anatomy of the ear. Lot of images here. Nice. And then, audiology, acoustics. What is this? Impedance audiometry in progress. Impedance audiometer. Okay. Then disorders of vestibular system. So Meniere's disease is there here. That is also called as endolymphatic hydrops. That will be having tinnitus, vertigo, etc. This is the Epley's manure for BPPV. What is BPPV? That is benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. So they are correcting these uh, lids. What lids are these? The stones, right? They are correcting their position. What is this? Lateral medullary syndrome. Mm -hmm. What is this cup? What are they doing with this cup here? Irrigation of the ear canal. Oh, wow. Some insect went into this person's ear. Which insect do you think this is? No idea. And where are we? We are looking at the CT scan of the right-sided autogenic cerebral abscess. Yeah, there is a cerebral abscess here on the right side. Yep. Still in the ear. This is the... What do you think this is? Normal cochlear duct. And this is kind of swollen, right? This is the race nurse membrane, right? Uh, yes, it is the race nurse membrane. That's correct. Okay, then tumors of ear and mastoid. Acoustic neuroma and its expansion. A whole chapter on tinnitus, physiology. Okay, we reached the nose, guys. Nose, nose. We have reached the nose now. Physiology of nose. That means this is anatomy. Yeah. So here we have the uh, cadaveric image also. Okay. So anatomy of nose. So we have reached the nose and paranasal sinuses. Okay. So anatomy, physiology. And then this is the nose, nasal septal fracture, jarge away fracture, chevalet fracture. Granulomatous disease of nose. What is this image here? Polypoidal mass. This is rhinosporidiosis. Yes. Okay. Multiple sites are involved in this. Okay. Nasal polyps, epistaxis. Epistaxis is what? Bleeding, right? From the nose. Anterior you will have. Posterior you will have. Trauma to the face. See, this face trauma is important, right? Because... You know the dangerous zone of the face, right? Near the nose. It can re lead to the cavernous. Also, it can go the infection. What image is this? CT scan showing blowout fracture of the right or vital flow. So, yeah, you can see here, right? It's broken. Okay. So, then we will go to benign and malignant neoplasms of nasal cavity. What are those? Tumors of nasal cavity. You have benign and malignant. Benign and malignant tumors. Squamous papilloma, nose, left side. What is this? 
there is a line they have drawn here. Weber Ferguson's incision used in maxillectomy. What is this? Looks interesting. Okay. Some clinical images here. Then diseases of oral cavity. We have reached the third section here. Oral cavity. What is there in oral cavity? Lot of images here again. Ulcerative squamous cell carcinoma in the floor of the oral cavity. It's not very clear. Okay. Wait, let's try to focus properly. Hmm, not much then. Pharynx, guys, we have reached the fourth section, diseases of pharynx. Again, here they are showing some granular pharyngitis. And what is this? Keratosis pharyngis. Keratosis pharyngis. Keratotic something appearing like follicular tonsillitis. Okay. Guys, we have reached um, more than half of the book is over. Just a little more left. Okay. Just bear with us. So after pharynx, they have to talk about the head and neck space infections. They are talking about, is it? What is this? Snoring and sleep apnea. Okay. Now they have come to laryngotracheal trauma. That means we are in the larynx now. Larynx and trachea. That is the next. After pharynx, you will get larynx and trachea. This is the vocal fold, vocal cord positions. Okay. Tracheostomy, other procedures, airway management. Oh, this is very important, guys. This is the Heimlich maneuver. You should know this so that you can save somebody's life if they are choking. See how the grip is around the waist. Just let's read it. Sudden thrust directed upward and backward below the epigastrium squeezes the air from the lung sufficient to dislodge a foreign body. Nice. Then, anatomy and physiology of the esophagus. I think before that we had to look at the thyroid, right? Yes, the thyroid. This is thyroid. What is this? This is uh, structure of thyroid parafollicular C cells. Okay. Then esophagus. What is there in esophagus to know something marked very important? What is this? Plummer Vinson Patterson Brown Kelly syndrome. Okay. I think this is something to do with vitamins, right? Deficiency. Wait, let's check. Yeah, you can see here iron deficiency anemia. Okay. What is this? A coin. Looks like a coin is stuck. Foreign food, foreign body food passage. 50 paisa coin. A lateral view. Okay. So here the topic is foreign bodies of food passage. Okay. Another chapter here, radiotherapy in head and neck cancers. Radiotherapy in head and neck cancers. Do we have to read all this for ENT? HIV. Recent advances. What are these? Okay, let's look at this one first. Bull's eye lamp. Left to right tuning fork. Seagull's speculum. Then otoscope, head mirror, this one is a Barani's noise box. Oh, okay, 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 Barani's noise box. We have heard that, right, in testing the ear. What is this? What are these instruments? Jobson Horney's probe. So many things are that. Speculum. Okay, please look at all this then. Headlight. Okay. Not that vehicle headlight, guys. Warming of warming a laryngeal mirror over a spirit lamp. <clears throat> okay, we're almost at the end. Don't worry. Okay, we're done. We're done. We'll just look at some things. Let's look at this one. It looks interesting. Use of seagull speculum to see the mobility of tympanic membrane. Okay. Um, anterior rhinoscopy. See that speculum they're using. We saw that time, right? To decum nasal speculum, yeah, that's important. Incisions commonly used in radial neck dissection. You have some Scobinger, McPhee, and hockey stick. 
okay then let's go looking at this one my ring go to me that is some repair to the eardrum right that is my ring go to me what are they telling here circumferential incision used in acute, acute suppurative otitis media this is grommet grommet in right tympanic membrane grommet in the right tympanic membrane myringoplasty closure closure of perforation of parts tensa in the tympanic membrane is called myringoplasty so if they have some perforation then they can fix it what is this chapter endoscopic sinus surgery this is very important what are the indications for endoscopic sinus surgery chronic bacterial sinusitis 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 sinus something epistaxis foreign body septoplasty okay what is there here endoscopic surgery is in progress sites of injection just anterior to the uncinate process on the lateral wall of right side of nose direct laryngoscopy is this a direct laryngoscopy yes this is a direct laryngoscopy esophagoscopy a flexible fiber optic esophagoscopy uh, the patient's face is this side it's difficult right for you to see okay tonsillectomy tonsillectomy all the instruments of tonsillectomy you should know there's some position here what is this rose position for tonsillectomy some rose position is there for tonsillectomy the instruments for tonsillectomy so many instruments tonsillectomy position yes almost at the end just another five pages we are done some imaging techniques in ent what are the imaging techniques let's look at the easy ones laws view who oh, these are not easy laws views some views are there okay pulse sequences of mri t1 weighted t2 weighted spin density gadolinium enhanced fat suppression so on and so forth yeah nice images here let's look at this this is the laws view i'm sure this is the water view what do you say water view with open mouth open mouth will be different right lot of uh, x rays they have given here x rays or ct scan or whatever this is a ct right contrast enhanced ct showing laryngo seal where is the laryngo seal here such a big one so clear see it's air filled cyst which is coming from the saccule right of the ventricle from the larynx that is a laryngocilia name itself says larynx laryngocilia guys uh, some memorable nuggets for rapid review okay rapid review also they only have given nice instruments okay nose instrument these are the ear instruments and these are the nose instruments so no need to buy any other book like we told you for your practicals clinicals everything this will help all the instruments guys and then we are done with this book ent dear diseases of ear nose throat and head and neck surgery this is by Elsevier, P. L. Dhingra, Shruti Dhingra. Okay, a very useful book for your ENT. Complete book. We don't need anything else for clinicals or practicals. That's all for now, guys. Bye bye.